Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 28th to February 3rd, 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards, <clears throat> I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign and uh, therefore it's going to resonate in a different level with every uh, single different Capricorns. So for that reason in this video I will try my best here to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately uh, you will have to assess the reading and align it to that general reading and, and align it to that person uh, to your personal situation for uh, maximum accuracy. If you want me to do that for you, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, well that is a subject of a personal reading. And for a personal reading you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So uh, <clears throat> This is going to be a week where uh, it will involve an um, additional person for you. That is well displayed here and I do think as well that that has some sort of a, a, a romantic nu nuance in it. Uh, it's kind of like a romantic shade in it. That is uh, displayed here by the uh, Page of Pentacles which is into a negative position but the whole topic for you Capricorns it's a person here with a page of swords and the core of the situation with the six of swords it is how you and that person has to be on the same page alright or the process of you and that person being on the same page because this person that we do have with the page of swords it kinda has more unique and standard and twisted vision. It's kind of like twisted points of view. Again, it has a romantic shade, all right, but it also could be entirely career oriented. It does depend once again on your personal uh, situation. So the additional card to the Page of Swords here that is going to be the Hierophant and we do have an additional confirmation that this person is very very unpredictable. You, you, you basically cannot say what they like, what they dislike and how they are going to react into a, a certain uh, situation. We do have active enemies here and for some reason, I don't know, the English word of it, but this person go, does exactly the opposite of what is right to be done on purpose, just to make you annoyed, just to make you mad, just to aggravate you, do, just to scrape down your nerves. Uh, you may find it very, very difficult throughout this week to put your trust into this person and especially if you have to work with that guy or a girl, well with a page of sorts most likely a, a girl that it is a little bit younger than you are, you know. You may find it very difficult to, uh, to basically uh, establish a common, common written with uh, with the working procedure and with the working process in uh, in general, it's kind of like uh, uh, <clears throat> you. Well, how can I place it really? Um, you and they uh, and that person are, are going to talk in a different languages if you uh, if you want to say it that way. For example, you may find that one thing is good to be performed as a lucrative side of one project while this person here will think that exactly the opposite is the right thing to be done in this project in in this project for its lucrivity and uh, likewise into one's career or into one's social circle so uh, what I'm trying to say here is that you should prepare emotionally and um, kind of like nervously if I may express myself that way, kind of like uh, shape your nerves to experience some uh, some wrangles, some disagreements as well and generally to lead a, a serious confrontations 
throughout the week because for one or another reason uh, further down the road you are going to need that person to be on your side and uh, this is going to be the week here where you will have to convince that person to be on your side for one thing or another or in general to make that person to believe in you so if that is a romantic interest for example this is going to be someone who has their criteria completely opposite of what you are and yet you will have the opportunity to convince them that their criteria are wrong you know and you are the one for them that is just for a an, an example <clears throat> so as the hierophant here stands for the uh for the ideals and for the natural thing of how one thing needs to be done it says for already established patterns then that means as an active enemies is that this person does completely the opposite he does not do how things are supposed to be done and again that will severely aggravate you one way or another and that could as well involve your child here pointing that your child is going to be completely unpredictable throughout the week and is going to do some i cannot say bad things but let's say shenanigans that you are completely uh, that will leave you completely unexpected or kind of like they will catch you off guard so the next card that is the root of the matter or the core of the situation that is going to be the six of swords with the five of pentacles. So we do have here a, a active enemy. So what it means is that through talks, through conversations and through displaying to this person that you are willing to change if they are willing to change as well a common ground can be achieved the five of pentacles does represents these many difference that you do have with with this person at many fronts not just at one front all right but at many fronts in career wise relationship wise socially wise as well and yet as it, as it is with the six of uh, with the six of swords it means that should you make some drastic actions here uh, these differences can and should be overcome as well so you do have a um, a way how to achieve as I said a common ground and uh, just because at the start of the uh, interaction here or the start of the initiation you cannot find um, anything that connects you with that guy or a girl it should not be a prerequisite for you to uh, basically abandon this kind of an interaction one way or another the six of swords is that it does represents the threshold of uh, the known and the unknown so here you need to overcome your sense of security and try to traverse that threshold toward the unknown even though it looks like that you do have a lot to gamble with or rather like you do uh, how can I place it uh, there is a, a big risk involved in reality there is nothing that you can lose from that interaction you can only gain so open-minded approach with open mind here toward that guy or a girl showing them trying to show them how they wrong they are uh, it will benefit you a big way because one way or another you are going to need them further down the road in your future they are going to play a substantial role and that is displayed here by the star card right but we are going to get there in a minute so that is that are the prime positions uh, for you Capricorns and the third card which is the challenges which are causing predicaments that is going to be the page of pentacles uh, with the world card so uh, that could be that could be interpreted in few ways guys the page of pentacles it may represent uh, deeper emotional connection especially in between friends and this is why I said that there could be a more like a romantic shade even if this is a career reading you know that could be the difference or rather like the awkward situation that you do have with a co-worker of yours whom you have a an emotions toward and they do have an emotions toward you as well and yet they will find it very inappropriate as i said because they will act completely off what is supposed to because when you do have emotions towards somebody uh you usually try to make a relationship but yet you know they may try to deflect you in any way possible so they can keep their job that is just for an example <clears throat> 
but with the world with the world and the page of uh, and the page of pentacles in a card you will find it very difficult to um how can i place it to close the deal if i may express myself that way and to uh, and to establish a a solid patterns how to proceed on fort uh from now on although that is also the key for you capricorns uh, that you need to achieve uh, achieve throughout the week. So we do have a, a very tight connection here in between these couple of positions. So you need to seemingly make a risky move in order to um, <clears throat> establish a, a solid pattern with a, a communication or a relationship with a guy or a girl here that are completely going off the hook here they, they are as i said acting in a very strange and weird uh, way the page of pentacles and the world card are pointing that nothing is completed until you can um, reach not just the common ground but until you don't finalize your activity with that guy or a girl here until you don't settle the score until you don't reach an agreement and etc etc the world card is about liberation it is about cycle coming to an end and new perspective for, uh, afterward emerges soon but until you finalize your work here with a guy or a girl the cycle cannot be completed and with the page of pentacles that should be the cycle uh, reach a completion when, as I said, a, a long-term plan or, or a long-term enterprise in between you and that person is achieved. So to give you uh, a bit of an outlook here, let's say that throughout the week you cannot, uh, you cannot achieve anything with this person, right? Just simply things doesn't happen for one or another reason well then history is going to repeat itself it's in the near future maybe not the next week maybe the week after is going to be a different time frame for every single one of you but what you need to know here is is that you do have future with that uh, with that person and this future needs to be secured needs to be founded needs to be given foundation throughout uh, this week and another example to give you if this is someone you like but they are uh, acting very awkwardly and uh, very kind of like unpredictable you know maybe you should start with the small things into one interactions like chatting hanging out and etc etc instead of aiming for dates because the page of pentacles is also about uh, as I said, long-term uh, development, but as well slow, steady and meticulous development either. It does require big devotion and that could be as well a thing that holds you down that you may expect things are going to be resolved overnight, right? But with this card, you need to have more patience and you need to have more uh, and you need to do more calculations. You need to be more calculative and more, um, I don't know how to say it, but let's say uh, to plan more for how you are to act, how you are to mesmerize that person or how you are to lead your um, conversations and negotiations with them. It does depend in what kind of a field uh, this person is going to come around for your life. But <clears throat> as I said, once again, I'm going to repeat it here, is that your cycle of development this week cannot be completed if you don't settle the score with this guy or girl. And finally, we do have the star card, which is the guidance here with the judgment. So we do have a, a huge combo of active friends. It does mean that this person is going to be the key of your hope. So whatever you are hoping for right now to achieve in the future, well, you cannot do it without, without him or without her. It's just it will be merely impossible. They are the key. They are the resolution. They are the salvation you require. All right. So to give you uh, another example here, you're working on a, an important project and that guy or a girl, just like I told you, are giving those preposterous ideas and they are uh, kind of like sabotaging everything around and so on and so forth. It's basically they're going against you in every decision of yours. But 
somewhere down the road, as this project develops in a couple of weeks, in a month, in a half a year, they will be the key solution of the project development. And you need them by your side at that point. So look at it as a long-term investment. Look at it as this time around you will need to make some sort of a compromise with your standpoints and, and, and as well, you know, with the, with the way of, do, of you doing things so you can achieve a common ground with them, so you can settle these agreements and etc, etc. But in the long run, you will receive their development, their unfolding love, that is as well very important, and their brilliant mind because they are unique and uh, original thinkers. The ideas that they have and the solutions that they come that they can come around are so outside of the box that you cannot imagine. And you need such of a uh, such an open-minded person at your behalf. Or if this is a, um, a, a romantic involvement here, that kind of seems like a, a person who it's very different than you are. You know, they have a, a very carefree mind and uh, they seem very inconsistent. But in the same time, they're like children, right? But in the same time, once they fall in love, once you can uh, mesmerize them or rather like once you can control them, then uh, their love is yours and no one, else can, no one else, excuse me, can actually take them away from you. And that will be most likely the person that you are going to spend few years sweet if not if not a, a lifetime because the star card once again that is a, a thing that gives you hope it is a thing for you to look forward to and it is a, a long term uh, kind of like dream coming true in the far future not in the near future but in the far future and additionally supported by the judgment card it does represent the thing that it is your calling because the judgment is the wake-up call. So it's something that you have seeked so much time and you have seeked until this very moment, but you seek it in a different places or in the wrong places. And this person is the place that you need to find it in this week, January 28th to February 3rd, 2018. So, that being said, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading Capricorns and now I'm going to shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. Alright, so the first one, this is going to be the mice, and the mice is about ruin, it is a about as well problems, and then we do have the path, and the path is about decisions, so you got to make a decision here. Uh, and then we do have the, the, uh, the tree, and the tree stands for long term, it stands for roots as well, or it stands for health. So that could be a, a health decision, a decision over a health problem that you will need to make throughout this, uh, throughout this week, like a, a couple of treatments offered to you and you need to decide which treatment to take. Either treatment should work for you as well because the path it does offers multiple ways to deal with a certain thing or it could be as well a decision how to deal with a, a long-term project that it is kind of taking roots into your situation and into your matter and that decision will be again involved with this person here as your solutions or, or kind of like as I told you here he is or she is going to be the solution of your issues if you can reach a common term, common ground and actually make a compromise to align yourself with their way of thinking and with what they uh, kind of expect and want as well. So that being said Capricorns, again this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again that was a general reading for Capricorn star sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different way, in a different level with every single different Capricorns. Uh, 
if you do want your personal uh, situation to be analyzed through tarot just like I did for the examples uh, in this video then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.